Hey, Steven. Is now a good time? Um, no. And yes. Let me just let me just clear some of these papers off. And with all this technology, you think, why do we need paper? Oh, Steven, we need to have a second copy of anything, Steven, you know, because... Right. Uh, we can come back again. No, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I've just been staring at papers and the screen for the past... I don't know. I don't know what time it is anymore. I'm, I'm sorry. Just... How's shooting going? It's been fine. Nice to see everyone. But we really want to catch up with you. See how you're handling the change. Oh, that's great. It's, it's, sorry, it's just, it's a lot, it's a lot higher volume uh, than the old place. So Pamela says, well, that's what you're here for, you idiot. <laughs> I swear she tells that so much better than I do. Or she would if she were still alive. Uh, hey, Stephen, here, why don't you go through this file and itemize for me every time Harry Styles asks for extra boy butter? What? No, I, I was going to go home. I, I'm just waiting for Charlie to get back from the water sports park jamboree. Yes, and now you're going to go through Harry Styles' boy butter, so we're all changing things up. <laughs> it's not like you have anything to go home to, honestly. Right. How have things been with Sarah? Good. Um, you know, we're just, we're keeping it, you know, professional at the office. Yes, we've noticed. How's home life? Yeah, we, um, we got a, a, a decent two-bedroom apartment, uh, you know, after we lost the, the you know, the, because we don't have AI. You know, we're not, we're not a house. Um, but we don't, we don't see each other a whole lot at home, you know, because we have different schedules. You know, I'm here all night. So, yeah. Hey. Hey, Kenneth needs you to come in to work early tomorrow. Bruce and Wayne have a call at a woman's book club, 2.30, and he needs them prepped to reenact scenes from The Notebook shirtless. Sure. Um, hey, maybe we could, uh, I could come in early and we could grab lunch. I'd love to, but I'm super swamped with helping Kenneth out. Speaking of which, I should probably head back over to his side of the office. Uh, but thanks so much for asking. Are there any differences between what you were doing at AI and what you do here? I mean, not really. I mean, like, there's just more you know, the scheduling and prepping for calls and cleaning up after calls sometimes and billing. <laughs> it's, there's just more. There's just a higher volume than what we used to do. Pamela's dolls. Fuck, you sound hot. Get your ass over here. Then who would be here to answer the phone? What a cock tease. Ooh. Family's dolls. Yeah, I'd like one large pepperoni with extra sausage. Yeah, sorry, we don't do that. Oh, I know. Can I come? In 30 minutes or less? We have a one hour minimum. Who is this? Who is this? I asked you first. Who is this? Uh, Stephen? Why is my husband calling your number at four in the morning? Oh, um, I provide tech support uh, for uh, business travelers on the road, uh, men and women. <laughs> oh. Okay. Do you offer tech support to lonely housewives? I think I could help you out. Mm. Mm. Oh, uh, Pamela Stalls. Hey, I'd like one of them robo-rooters you got there. Sir, you're gonna have to be a little more specific. 
Uh, we have many different models to choose from. I don't care. Just send over one of those gigos. Do you prefer male or female sex robots? As long as it has a hole I can put my sausage into, I don't really care. Sure thing. Will do. Though it seems Pamela, by proxy of Kenneth now, does things differently than you did with your old company. Uh, yeah, uh, they're a little stricter. Has this new dynamic changed things at all between you and everyone from AI? Somebody to cuddle! Who am I cuddling today? Uh, right, um... I was a... Uh, some 30-year-old woman on Park Slope. She was feeling lonely and she requested a tall man. Well, that's my fourth cuddle call in two days. Yeah, people want your loving spoonful. Yeah, so I should, um, I should go clean the bubble tea out of Jessica's vaginal unit. Oh, actually, I already did that. She's cleaned up, turned off, and on a charging station. Just like kind of ordered. I should, I should get going. The board housewife isn't gonna cuddle herself, right? <laughs> so, okay. Have fun. Yep. What's a cuddle call like? Oh, well, usually it's not that big of a deal. Uh, a client will lay down, I come up behind them, and embrace them in the full concavity of my torso. That's it? Well, it's a lot more complicated than you think. It's not just wrapping your arms around somebody, it's about putting that person in a loving embrace. I'll have you know I've got 10 algorithms running at the same time to make sure each part of my body is utilizing the most perfect loving embrace possible. So, a cuddle. I presume? Hi. Yes, you must be Camantha. You can call me Cammy. Uh, come on in, boys. We'll stay out of the way. Just pretend we're not even here. I don't give a shit who watches. I mean, how do you think I got myself through college? This and a uh, small waitressing job. Do you have a special couch you like to cuddle on? Let's just go to the bedroom. Okay. Get on top of me. Um, actually, it's easier if you're on your side and in more of a fetal position. I said get on top of me. Okay, um... Like this? No, you moron, like oh. this. Damn. Are you comfortable? <sighs> You're not doing it right. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm happy to make any adjustments you'd like. Here. Put this on. Um, I don't think this will fit. Put it on! Would you like me to play some music? Kamantha? Kamantha. You guys can head back to the office. I got another 35 minutes before I gotta wake her up. You sure? Yeah, it's okay. I'll just be staring at the ceiling for the next 34 minutes. I have been there, my friend. It's called the friend zone. 
see you at the office. Baby. got lost in the mail when they sent the rubber sheets. Of course. Same ship, different zip code. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys. Oh hey, how did your call go? Pretty good, but I needed to wait about 200 more pounds to satisfy my client. <laughs> good luck with that. Thanks. <laughs> you going on the call? Why else would I be turned on? Not like I have any choice in the matter. Um, if you'll excuse me. Mm-hmm. You just had to bring it up again, didn't you? Have you met me? Of course, but it's still hard for Sarah. She didn't need the reminder. No, I will not apologize for being upset that the only time I get to be awake is when some fat fuck with too much money wants to get pissed on as a way to bond with his interns. I was gonna ask how the jamboree went. Fucking peachy. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to Steven's office to get the details of my next call. Oh. You're gonna be on this call too, huh? Guess it couldn't hurt to slum it a little. Try to keep up. <laughs>